Okay, during this period of instruction, I'm going to teach you how to use the Marine Non-Commissioned Officer Sword. Uh, the purpose of this is so that while you are a drill instructor, you're going to have to know every single movement that, that comes with it. You're going to have to execute it flawlessly while you're marching your platoon around, and you should be the subject matter expert on how to use the Non-Commissioned Officer Sword um, that we have in the Marine Corps. So the first movement that I'm going to explain and demonstrate, and now for the purpose of instruction for this website, what I want you to do with this instruction I'm going to give you is I'm going to walk you through every one of these steps. I'm going to teach you, I'll break it down, you know, step by step, how to, what the commands are, how to execute it. And then after this video, what you can do is use this as a reference to go back and practice each one of these commands, each one of these movements all on your own. So the first one that I'm going to go over is going to be draw a sword. Now I'm going to give you the commands that you're going to use. Uh, the commands that come along with each of these movements, but know that while you're a drill instructor, these you'll be on autopilot and you'll be giving, you'll be doing these without the commands. But if you're ever in a ceremony, if you're in the Marine Corps birthday ball or sword detail at a funeral or at a wedding or anything like that, then know that then that's when you would use these commands. But understand that as a drill instructor marching a platoon, you won't give the commands, but you will execute on autopilot. So I hope that doesn't confuse you. But once you get out there, I'm, I'm sure it'll make sense. First one I'm going to go over today, and also for instructional purposes, I'm going to be in boots and utes so that you can see the sword on the frog on my hip, simulating that you're in your service uniform. So, the first movement that I'm going to explain and demonstrate is going to be draw sword. Draw sword begins at the position of attention with your feet at a 45 degree angle, both hands curled, shoulders back, looking straight ahead. The command will be draw sword. The preparatory command is draw. Command of execution is sword. So on draw, you're going to grab, pull. I have my left hand, my thumb on the trouser seam, holding the scabbard at a 45 degree angle. My right hand has pulled the sword out 10 inches out of the scabbard, and my right arm is parallel to the deck. On the command of execution, sword, I'm going to go straight up, let go of my left hand. My right arm should be at a 45 degree angle with the sword going straight out to the front. And then I will pause for a one second count and then I will bring the sword down to my arm, switching my grip down to the pocket of my shoulder right here. So full speed will look like this. Now what you want to make sure you don't get is any head movement when the sword comes down. Let's see if I can do it. Here we go. Draw. Sword. Maybe add a little bit. But that's the goal is to not have any head movement coming down. Don't be scared of the sword. It's not going to hit cut you, and if it does, it won't cut that bad. So a good thing to practice is from here, just coming back down. Up, back. So all the way from the top, one more time. What I want you to do now is do exactly what I'm doing on your own. I want you to say, draw, sword. Straight down, just like that. Now, the next movement I'm going to go, I'm going to explain and demonstrate as the plane goes by. If you're at MCRD San Diego, know that it's right next to the airport and you're going to have planes flying by all the time. That is an occupational hazard you're just going to have to get used to screaming over the planes. So this is perfect. That one's a little prop plane going over right now. Anyway, deal with it. The next movement I'm going to explain and demonstrate is present sword. So you'll be at the position of attention. Now this is called carry sword. Once you have the sword up in the carry position, this is carry sword. So from here, I'm going to say present. You're going to go straight up. Six inches from your throat, 30 degree angle now with the sword being an extension of your arm. It's not like this, not like that. It should be straight. So it's up and then on command of execution, sword, it's going to go straight down with the knuckle bow on the trouser seam. So I'm going to do it again. So the command can either be present sword or present arms. You as a march in the platoon as a unit leader, it'll be present arms normally. But for the period of my instruction, we're going to go with sword. Present sword. Down. The command to terminate it is order sword, where all I'm going to do is cut and go back down to the order. Order sword. So this is order sword with the sword three inches from the deck. I know you can't see from the video, but straight down, three inches from the deck. From here to get it back up to the carry, I'm going to give the command carry sword. It'll look like this. Carry sword. And it comes straight up. Again, no head movement. So a good way to practice this is to go up, up and down, over and over again. To get it like a commercial, like you see on, you know, on TV, you don't want this thing bouncing. So you can take the scabbard, put it on top. In fact, I'll show you. Good way to practice. Take the scabbard out. Make it heavier. Put it right here and go down, 
back up. Yeah, build up that muscle because it's supposed to be uncomfortable. It's supposed to hurt. So that's a good way to practice uh, carry sword. Do that 10 times, and then once you take the scabbard back off, bang, it's like nothing, like a butter knife. It's easy. So this is carry sword. So from here, if I want to give order sword, you just go down. Order sword. Just like that. Easy. Okay, the next movement I'm explaining to demonstrate is going to be parade rest. So on the preparatory command, it, first of all, it's going to sound like this. Parade rest. On the preparatory command of parade, the sword will go down to the order. Parade rest. And then on rest, you put your hand in the small of your back like this. Parade rest. And then you ease the sword to the deck. It should be from three inches down touching the deck on just on the outside of your foot. So all together will look like this. Parade, rest, snap, and it goes down, easy. From here to get back to attention, the command would be platoon, company, whatever size it is, platoon, attend. And it would be right here back at parade rest. And pick, see, I had a head movement. See, I, I haze myself later. No head movement, I'm a little rusty. The next movement I'm going to explain and demonstrate will be return sword. So return sword will be done at the end of the drill card if you're out marching the platoon around or at the end of a ceremony. And the command will be return and then there's a long pause, sword. So on return, you will do the first count of present arms with your right hand, but you will grab the scabbard with your left hand putting at a 45 degree angle. Not like this, not like that, 45 degree angle. So here we go. It'll look like this from the side. Return up. From there, you will break. You will put the sword back in the scabbard, just keeping your head looking down, putting the sword at 10 inches from the scabbard. Then you, once you're there and you're good and your right arm is parallel to the deck again, look up, sword, and then slam it back on. So all in one count, it'll look like this. I'll do it from the front this time. Return up. Okay, the final movement that I'm going to explain and demonstrate is going to be eyes right. Now it's a little difficult for me to do it uh, in this short uh, limited space that I have because eyes right you will be moving and marching forward with the platoon. But I'm going to do it um, while marking time which will still simulate the same commands. It'll be the, really the same thing. So just know that you'll be marching forward. You won't, you won't be marching in place. So the way that the command will go, you would uh, march up to the front of the platoon and you, from here you would give forward, march, and then left, right, left. And then the command will be eyes, right. So on the first, so on eyes, eyes up, your right hand comes up. So eyes up, take a step, right, down. So eyes up, right, down. Look, don't, the eyes up is the ditty, right, down, down. So up and down are the ditties. The commands are eyes, right. Here we go, I'll do it in place. See if we can get it. Here we go. Left, right, left. Eyes, right. Snap. And then you snap your head to the right, and you keep the knuckle bow right on your trousers seam. You're not walking the dog, putting it way up here. Keep it down right here. And then from here, the command will be ready, front, to terminate. It'll look like this. I'm looking at the right. Ready, front, left, right, left. Just like that. So eyes, right, ready, front. So I'll do it all together from the beginning. Here we go. Mark doing it in place. Forward, march, left, right, left. Eyes, right, down, ready, front, left, right, left. Just like that. Okay, so that concludes my period of instruction on the non-commissioned officer sword. Uh, as a drill instructor student, as an incoming drill instructor student, it is imperative that you learn this master it that you get ahead of the game because this is a vital vital part of being a marine corps drill instructor a legendary marine corps drill instructor you are expected to be the subject matter expert and know how to wield this thing around like it's uh, like you're supposed to so take the all the lessons that all the the movements that i explained and demonstrated imitate them practice them use this as a reference and go back over and over again until you have each one of them down no head movement where you can do it where you can do it in your sleep so good luck to you, and that is all.